Hey everyone, I'm Daniel Cohn, the editorial director here at SPIN, and we are here today with Ali and AJ. Hi. How are you doing today? We're good. We're good. We were just talking about stage fashion just now, <laughs> for everyone out there. Do you want to tell them why you decided to change it up a little quickly? You know what? These days all we need on stage is a great watch, a bolo tie, and a handkerchief. Yeah, we're And I'm good. happy. I'm not a huge jewelry person, and this just makes me feel complete we, when I go on stage. We try to kind of like revolve our outfits, so it's, I mean, you know, I think it's better to be sustainable than to wear a brand new outfit every single time you're on stage. It's like, why not reuse it? So, yeah, and as long as, you know, as long as it doesn't get too smelly after the show, it's like we can wear it for night two, three, four. We have know? like 20 of these. We have same a lot of the white, white t-shirts, you know? You can't go wrong with the white t-shirt. You really you can't. can't, honestly. And Wrangler, I feel like, Wrangler pants, a white like t-shirt. I feel like it's a highly underrated item. Very Americana. It is. It yeah. is Americana. Classic. It yeah. is classic. Yeah. So, we were just talking off camera, and an issue that's very important to you both is gun control, education, and safety. With all the stuff that's going on in this country, how did, why, we know why that's important, but what do you see as being measures that can help show people why it's so important to just be informed about what you have? Well, a, a big um, reason why we ended up bringing out Northwell Health on our most recent tour um, was because we were able to create this pledge with them so we could ask fans every night to take part in it. And the, the pledge is really simple. It was basically just to commit to going home and asking if there's an unlocked gun in the house they're living in or in a house they're, they're visiting. And I feel like that's just one really small step. It might just seem so simple that people don't even think about it, but I really do believe that just by knowing, okay, there's an unlocked gun in this home, maybe I don't want to be in this home. Maybe I don't want to step foot in here. Or I don't want to maybe drop my kid off at this person's house knowing that. And I know it's a scary thing to ask. It's a question that can feel uncomfortable. But I do believe that it gets us one step further to ending this, you know, epidemic that we have around gun violence. Um, obviously, on top of that, we'd love to ban assault weapons, but that's its whole other subject matter. Mm. At least we can focus on the fact that having a gun that's properly Safely stored, stored that is important. And I do believe that gun owners and non-gun owners can agree to that. And that was kind of where that that whole mission really started. And the us. personal connection for Allie and I, where it all ties in, um, is really due to the fact that uh, us, along with our band and crew, survived a mass shooting last year on April 2nd. And it was the first date of our tour. And to me, knowing what we've been through and how it felt in that moment, and knowing that six people died on the street that night in Sacramento is something we will never forget. So we feel like it is our duty at this point to get on the front lines and start talking about change and hopefully pushing things forward in the right direction. And I think it's important that you're going the education route because it seems like in this country, people are so dug in on their stances that the only way they will listen is if someone comes from a place where they want to help. 100%. It's, 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 weird. it's weird it's such a polarizing topic because it really shouldn't be and it shouldn't be political. It should be a public safety issue, really, when you think about it. 100%. But I think when it's able to be um, portrayed in a way where it's brought to you by someone that's actually experienced themselves, I think you're a little bit more willing to listen. And when it comes from a, a place of education, like you said, I think that's a game changer. So hopefully we're just encouraging people to, to ask that question. It, I do believe that asking that kind of a question could save someone's life. Well, I guess we'll never know. But even the idea of somebody being brave enough to say, you know what, I'm not sure about what that that answer is. And I, I, I've never asked my parent, but I know that they own a gun. And I've never actually felt really comfortable um, in their home before. And maybe now they'll find a little bit of peace and comfort if they get that answer of, yes, it is locked and stored away. And it's, and it's important because your fans are on, you know, they're, they're all over the country, all over the world. And if it changes the, the lives of, 15 people. Sure. 30, one. One. Yeah. That's right. One. And that's right. That's one life that you saved and I'm... Yeah. 10,000 people took the pledge in the span of wow. a month on the tour and that to me was just like such a whim. Like we just couldn't be happy. I think they're really... I, I think the, the, the success of the tour in a way was to me displayed by that number more yeah. than anything else. Like if that's 100%. like beyond selling tickets, beyond merch, beyond any of that, it was like how many people can we get to take this pledge? It was really important. And I think the fact that you know, only 30% of gun owners even store their guns safely. Which is insane. That's an insane statistic. That's a crazy number. Like, that should be flop. It should be 70% of people at least are storing their guns safely. So I think that just 
talking about this in a way that isn't judgmental. It's very uh, open, and we're welcoming all all kinds of people from all different backgrounds to talk about it. I think it's really important. So we're really grateful that we're able to just be the messengers. You know, that's really our, all our job is. Um, I know there's a lot of people that are doing even harder work on the front lines. You know, the doctors Absolutely. that are treating people coming in from gunshot wounds. Those are the like true heroes. What is some of the feedback you've heard from your fans about this initiative? We've actually heard quite a few fans now who have A, experienced surviving a mass shooting, and B, fans who have never asked their parents before. Have been afraid to. And have been afraid to, and finally felt encouraged by the fact that we asked them on an evening just of music, where we stop the show and we talk about it on stage. And there was one particular fan that really resonated with me, where she was like, I finally asked my mom. I had never asked her before. I wasn't sure what the answer was going to be. And the answer was, yes, it is safely stored, and thank you so much for asking. And I thought that was so encouraging. It was something that Allie and I were like, wow, if more people asked this, they would actually find that the answer is hopefully positive yeah. and received in a positive way. Yeah. So it was, that was really beautiful to hear. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't a threatening question. We're not taking right. away, it's just, right. is it safe? Exactly. Right. And I, I think everyone wants their family to be safe. Yes, I think, I think yes. That's a, but we can all agree on it. Yes, it's, it's on one of the it. issues yeah. that everyone agrees yes. on. Yes, yeah. And just coming from that place of just safety and just help, is I, is what resonates with people. It's, Absolutely. Especially in 2023, when there's so many issues that people are divided on, and I think yeah, that that's kind of the level playing field. Is if you come from a place where I, I want to help and I want to be safe, and so, no, gun yes. owner, non owner will agree that yes, we don't want any anything bad to happen. And you're, you all are doing your great job of just showing people the way on that. Because again, it could Thank be it could be very easy to just can go from a place of just talking down to people where you're encouraging people to speak up. Thank you. Which is well, I think that's that's half the battle is like mobilizing, especially our youth, to get involved. Because honestly, if anybody's going to fucking save the planet, it's probably young people. You know, they're the ones that are like most willing to like step in and say, I want some change to happen here. I mean, look at the like March for Our Lives, Moms Demand Action. I mean, there's some really incredible coalitions that have sprouted out from a very grassroots standpoint, all because of, you know, the gun violence that's kind of been happening over the past, you know, 20 years. Um, so I, I do believe that our fans are really resonating with it in a way that it doesn't surprise me because I know that they all have really great, incredible hearts. So I'm not shocked night after night seeing the participation, but yeah, it's also same. so gratifying. And it just makes us feel like, okay, this is why we do this. It's not just the music. Are you going to continue with the initiative on future tours? Yeah, definitely. We plan on it, yeah. Whether it's with Northwell or with um, some other, organization, with some other yeah. organization, you know, whether it's Every Town or Brady or, like Ali said, Moms Demand Action, March for Our Lives. I mean, there, we really kind of want to. I, I don't really believe in staying with one foundation when all of these people are representing the same thing. Yeah, I think same it would goal. be really good to to spread out the organizations. Yeah, kind of Have you seen any of your peers uh, address the issue also and like try to encourage their fans to? Kelsey Ballerini much? is is one that is really vocal about gun safety. Um, she survived a mass shooting. Um, I believe in high school. Yeah. And it's something she talked about at the CMT Awards, and I thought, CMA Awards, and I thought it was incredibly brave, the speech she gave at the start of the show. And we actually DM'd her about it, and she was incredibly gracious about her story. But um, I do see that more peers are starting to come out about this, this yeah. issue. I mean, it is a, it's a pandemic. I mean, even Harry I Styles, say. him, you know, and making bringing uh, out every town. yeah, bringing out every town and, and having a percentage of proceeds of the shows go towards them. I think I, I mean it, it all counts. It, uh, it's an accumulation of people all putting in the work and the time, and then Absolutely. eventually at the end of the day you'll see some change. It might be many, 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 many years from now, but it's like it's baby steps. You know, it's still something. It's better than nothing. Absolutely. Well, well, thanks for coming by. Thank you. Absolutely. Appreciate the great chat. And is there anything you want to say to everyone out there? We love Spin, and uh, Allie and I have a ridiculous, shameless request. We'd love for you guys to review the yeah, record. Review our fucking record. Review with, with love, love from. Do it. Do it. We, we love dare you. you. We, we love, love you. We love, we love Spin, spin and Thank our you new album us. is out, and uh, we have new dates coming in September for for, uh, for future shows. So come see us on the road.